Hello all, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will look into how to deploy an ASP.NET Core 2.0 web application with Angular to Azure Web Apps using Visual Studio 2017. We have some prerequisite for this. Very first, we need to have a Microsoft Azure account so as to access Azure services. We need to have installed in our machine Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3 and ASP.NET Core 2.0 SDK. So let's get started. So this is Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3. Let's create an application. Give it a name. Okay. ASP.NET Core 2.0 provides a template for having an Angular application. Select this template, click on OK. This will create a basic Angular project structure with three components, having a sample code for calling an API, a static code and then a basic logic of increasing in count. As you can see in this package.json, all the required dependencies or libraries uh, for an Angular app is already being uh, included. So we don't have to make any pre-installation for setting up the Angular application. Let's run it. Control five, F5. Let's wait for to get started. Okay, so this is a sample Angular application. So it's running fine. So let's deploy this. Click on project, right click, click on publish. So this window will allow us to deploy this application to Azure Web App. It has different uh, templates or methods to get this application deployed. Web deploy method IS, through ISFTP, through folder, through Azure machines and so on. Let's select Microsoft Azure App Service and click on publish. Now here you need to uh, log in with your Azure account so as to uh, so as this window will fetch all the details with respect to your subscription as you can see my subscription is of free trial which is being fetched over here i have some three resource group it has selected by default this core app we can give a name unique name for our application let's have it as angular on azure so this is not available okay um your core yes it's fine it has selected an app service plan let's click on create now the process has started it will take few minutes to get deployed the step will lead us to this window publish button is still disabled as the activity is still going on, the deployment is going on. We can see, we can track the status in this web publish activity window. It has some basic uh, details of the application. As you can see, this will be the URL. Let's copy this. This will be the URL as we give the name as Angular on Azure Core, followed by Azure website websites.net. Meanwhile, getting deployed, we can go to portal, click on core apps. This was the resource group we selected. Great. See, as you can see, there is an app service with the name Angular on Azure Core being added to the resource group with an app service plan. Let's go back to the window. String deploying. So once this 
button publish button gets enabled we can conclude that it has been deployed the status will be displayed in this window too and once it gets deployed it will uh, directly open the website into the browser so let's wait as you can see in the status it's adding uh, the directory files all the dependencies So now as uh, the publish it is succeeded this is the url and must have open in this browser yes it's getting loaded so i can see angular on azure code dot azure website dot net so this is the public url it's being deployed on cloud perfectly fine all the data is getting loaded So this is how we are it is very much easy or you can say a very simpler method to deploy an angular app through visual studio hope you have enjoyed this video kindly like and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day